We're here today with uh, Corey Simon, who is an interface uh, engineer, human interface engineer, right, Corey? That's right. That's okay, right. so Corey is going to tell us a little bit about how wearable technology can work for NASA in, as we create uh, futuristic spacesuits. Now, uh, Corey, I, this doesn't really look like the suit that Iron Man dons. So how will something like this translate to a space suit, or what's, well, what's the importance in human interface? Well, we're, we're getting to the Iron Man suit. Uh, the wearable technology, um, at least in these kind of early stages of the uh, technology development, is really focused on putting um, sensors and displays and controls onto an astronaut's body. We're focused on inside the, inside the space habitat so that they can perform additional functions, really augment their capability to allow them to, to reach things that they couldn't reach through the controls on their body, to see things that they couldn't see, and to uh, Okay, learn el a little more. elaborate a little bit more. I don't understand. How, how can they do that with these sensors? So, so this garment here was made by students at the University of Minnesota. Um, we, we asked them to help us um, work on how can we attach and remove functionality from a garment so that we can have a single garment that has a diverse set of capabilities. In this case, they created several attachment points where functional swatches of fabric could be attached and removed, whether they be a, a sensor, a, maybe something as simple as a push button control or an LED light or more complex, um, a communication, uh, maybe a speaker and a microphone or, or a gas analyzer sensors, things like that, that allow the astronaut to carry these displays and controls and sensors with them as they operate. And so this will make them be able to get around the space station a little bit easier or perhaps on another planet so they can carry all these yeah, things on ab them? Absolutely. We're, we're really looking at bringing this to the astronauts um, in, in a habitable volume, wherever they might be. And <coughs> the real benefit of this is we're bringing information to the astronaut. We'll have um, displays that they can feel on their skin called tactile feedback. We'll have visual displays and audio displays that'll allow them to gather information about the spacecraft, and then also controls that'll let, uh, let, that will let them um, <coughs> change how the spacecraft operates from anywhere they are wirelessly. So like a computer on your sleeve? That's that the idea. They, they call it wearable computing and functional technology or smart fabrics. You know, Why yeah. fashion design? You went to an apparel design class at the University of Minnesota. How did you find the class and why fashion design, yeah. so, not engineering? So we asked these students um, through their professor, Dr. Lucy Dunn at the University of Minnesota, to help us out with some of these problems because in my group, the human interface group, we're um, really focused on avionics. We're focused on hardware capabilities and, and um, you know, uh, display capabilities and those sorts of things. So we're more concerned with the physical aspect of how the technology functions. We have other folks at Johnson Space Center who work on human factors and do research and things like that. But, but we really went to University of Minnesota and the students there to leverage their expertise in garment design. And you can see here, and there's several other prototypes that have been developed, that, <coughs> that their expertise is, is really, it really shines through and it's something that we're really going to be able to leverage as we go forward and continue to develop this technology. So what did, uh, how many um, years have you worked with the University of Minnesota? We just started. So um, this is your first time then? Yeah, this is our first time through, and we've been very happy with what they produce. So you're looking forward to next semester hey, to well, see what they come We up are. With. I, they worked very hard on this. I, I'm wondering how many of them will sign up again. <laughs> but but we're, we're very happy with what they produce, and yes, we're definitely looking forward to working with them again and, and other universities as well. So what's the next step on designing something for a, an astronaut on the space station? And are you also looking at, not just the space station, are you looking towards the next step, what we're going to do in the future when we go to an asteroid or to Mars. Yes, absolutely. One, one of the nice things about a garment specifically like this is that when you can attach and remove this functionality, it allows us to use kind of a rapid prototyping mentality where we can, we can test a wearable function where we put it on the body, we remove it, we, we try it at different locations, and then operationally when we, when we get to the point where we can put this on the space station or on, on a future habitat, We'll have refined it iteratively with different swatches and different um, garments so that yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll have a very funct functional garment that really allows the astronauts to act more efficiently and, and really be enabled um, more so than they are now. Anything else that you got out of the class? I think, I think you're getting a couple of interns next semester, right? That's absolutely right. Um, we've been so happy with their work. We asked them to come work for us. 
And, so. and are you going to expand this to other st uh, to other classes or to other schools? Um, yeah, absolutely. We're, we're talking to other schools right now. Um, we we want to continue our relationship with the University of Minnesota, but there's a lot of expertise out there that, that we can leverage and a lot of students with creative ideas. So fashion design now, right? It's human interface plus fashion design so that yeah. it looks good, it works good. You have a wearable computer. Yeah. Everything is great, right? Yeah, coming to a, a supermarket near you. Well, thank you very much, Corey, for telling us about human interface and wearable computers. And I'm looking forward to uh, maybe not having that Iron Man uh, suit and power suit in my closet, but I, I think maybe something with attachments, so like a computer on my sleeve might be good. That way I don't ever have to lose my cell phone again. <laughs>